she said, well, I give you the oral sex or I give you the real sex. After a KARK investigation uncovers sex for sale at a central Arkansas massage parlor, we take our findings straight to the authorities. And digging deeper tonight, police confirm a human trafficking link to the massage industry because safety matters. We try to bring clarity to a crime that can get blurry, even for law enforcement. Where they say they found evidence of prostitution and human trafficking. From coast to coast. Some spas alleged secret prostitution business might not have been that secret. To the heartland. Louisville, Kentucky, everywhere. Police say massage parlors have become havens for human trafficking. We like to think we're the melting pot. Five Asian massage spas have opened in West Little Rock in the last 18 months, and law enforcement is taking notice. I can tell you we've investigated every massage parlor in this in the city of Little Rock. This police sergeant, whose identity we protected, heads the department's vice unit. Is it happening here? Is it happening in West Little Rock? It is to an extent. His four detective squad stays busy with complaints of prostitution-style human trafficking. It's a real big buzzword right now in Little Rock. I'm some cases are referred from the Arkansas State Board of Massage Therapy, which we learned also has limited manpower. In Arkansas, one person is responsible for inspecting the state's 425 massage clinics and spas. Here's what the board president had to say when we asked if one's enough. It's, it, he stays very busy doing it to properly create inspections, no. Well, the fact that they only have one inspector. A red flag to lawmaker David Meeks. It's something he worries potential traffickers will take advantage of. Well, I think it's high time that we take a look at, you know, potentially again getting a, another inspector. Representative Meeks was instrumental in crafting Arkansas's 2013 human trafficking legislation. So now it is about, you know, bringing awareness, trying to get our law enforcement officers, our attorney general, um, you know, the massage board, whoever it is, the resources that they need. He's now part of a push to hire 10 state investigators to combat the crime. We want human trafficking, human traffickers to know we don't want you here in Arkansas. While a trafficker can be charged with a felony, proving what some refer to as crimes of morality aren't always black and white and can take months. You have to get people in there to get propositioned or get uh, break the law. And then at that point, if they get some type of video or cameras into the business. One thing is clear to this 28-year police veteran. It's not about physical therapy. It's not about massages. It's about how much money they can make as quick as they can make it. And we have learned lawmakers are taking a closer look at how the State Board of Massage Therapy is spending its cash after a legislative audit revealed a budget shortfall. On January 5th, Governor Mike Beebe issued a proclamation for $60,000. Without the emergency funds, the agency would have faced possible layoffs. Meanwhile, a bill in the Senate would restructure the Massage Therapy Board, moving it under the health department. If you'd like to see part one of our special report and to read a statement from the attorney general's office on this issue, go to our website, arkansasmatters.com.